My name is Penny Albuquerque. I attend Paul International High School, and the title of my speech is Parental Love, an Example of Mine. Abeliki Ami translates to, where are you, my love? These words spoken with love and death hold a profound meaning within the context of my life. It represents the tender and intimate bond between a parent and a child. A child whose eyes are not only a replica of her mother's, but wears her mother's entire face. It is a phrase that encapsulates the unique love and guidance bestowed upon us by our parents. It is a sentiment expressed as she sees me, her eyes to be my guidance, my protector, and my source of motherly love. Spoken, spoken in a language that embraces me into my Eritrean heritage, my roots. Yet how would any child know the depth of their cultural heritage if their roots are gradually being swept? Native American communities have faced historical challenges, including forced assimilation and separation of children from their families and cultures. Today, efforts continue to ensure that Native American children are not adopted outside of their communities, recognizing the importance of maintaining their cultural identity and connection to their ancestral heritage. But these efforts to overturn these safeguards jeopardize uh, the hard-fought progress that has been made. The experiences of Native American families in preserving their cultural heritage resonates with the essence of Abedipi Ane. Just as my mother seeks me, her eyes, Native American families strive to keep their children rooted in their cultural traditions, languages, and values. They understand that the strength of their culture lies in the continuation of ancestral knowledge and a nurturing of deep sense of identity within their children. By acknowledging the efforts Native American families go to protect their roots, we contribute to the creation of a more inclusive society, one that respects and values diverse cultural backgrounds and fosters an environment where children, where, where all children, all children can thrive while maintaining a strong connection to their roots. Today, I stand before all of you as the person I am and how I carry myself is due to my parents' unique, unique way of incorporating culture and their values of raising a child. Both of my parents continue to play a crucial life, a, 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 no, sorry. Both of my parents continue to play a crucial role in my life, acting as guiding lights in a confusing tunnel called life. However, there comes a point in every journey where we must learn to shine our own light. How does one acquire the ability to illuminate their own path? Thankfully, I have been fortunate enough to have two people who have taught me how to construct my own life. The unconditional love they hold in their hearts continues to guide me as I forge my own being path. Though I have only known these parents, they have chosen to provide me with an extraordinary level of protection and support. Let us stand together and advocate for the rights of Native American children to grow up in an environment that honors their cultural heritage. By doing so, we not only empower them to shine their own light, but also contribute to a world that values and respects the tapestry of <coughs> cultures that make up for part of who we are. Thank you. International High School, and the title of my speech is The Children Are Future. Have you ever been watching a movie, and in the middle of the movie, you get interrupted? You then realize you never are going to see the end of that movie. And no matter how hard you search, you will never see the end of that movie. Now replace the word movies with children. It goes unnoticed until the violence is so loud it is deafening. When things go down and everyone sends their thoughts and prayers, but if our thoughts are more aligned with Providing more mental health services, maybe we would need less prayers for the angels that have left us. School is a place to learn, build relationships, and for personal development, but it is not a war zone. Recently, a congressman compared going to school as if it was a war zone. After a, after a shooting in Nashville, saying, What if someone wants to get you? 
they will get you and there's nothing we can do about it. To me, it doesn't make sense. How is school described as a war zone? School has never felt like a war zone to me unless you count that one time in seventh grade and it was a food fight that I did not take part in. <laughs> no one wants children to die. No matter how you feel about gun laws or gun control, no one wants children to die. It is often said when you don't heal yourself, you bleed over everything. That is why they tell you when the cabin pressure drops in a plane, put your mask on first, then help others. You can't help others if you are unable to help yourself. When kids come home, I want them to come home to their parents happy with homework and telling them about their day. No parent wants to find out via social media or from the school secretary that their child's life is in danger or that they are unfortunately no longer with us. That is how some parents found out after the shooting in Nashville. The goal is to teach people how to process disappointment in their emotions. This can be done by increasing the amount of social services in schools. Counselors are valuable, but to quote the blockbuster movie Jaws, we're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> there are too many kids and not enough counselors, and sadly, not enough money to hire enough counselors. As far as the bigger boat is concerned, we need the money to build the boat. This can be achieved, I believe, by a vigorous partnership between the ACA, Congress, and most importantly, the American Schooling System. The ACA, American Counseling Association, specializes in getting the funding for the proper amount of mental health professionals to address the needs for the amount of children that populate our schools. As we try to make sense of the senseless, we struggle to find words to express the pain and sorrow we feel. The loss of a child is, no, is, a, thing, is a pain no parent should ever have to endure. So much so, when a child loses their parents, they are called an orphan. But when a parent loses their child, there is no word across the globe to measure this pain. These children had dreams and aspirations. They had talents and gifts that could have enriched the world. We want the loss of innocent lives cut short before they had a chance to reach their full potential. But those dreams will never be realized. Those talents never fully develop as their life has just abruptly ended. The world is not something precious, as we can only imagine the impact these children can have on their communities, their families, and the world at large. But it starts with being better stewards of mental health for all children. Thank you. Public charter school, and the title of my speech today is My Watch Song, The Time Did It. Literally last week, um, I was getting dressed for an event. Uh, I was putting my clothes on, um, and now it was time for me to put on uh, my last accessory, which was my watch. I noticed something, but I ignored it because that couldn't have been a real thing. Um, I put on my comb and I started to put on my bracelets and I looked back at my watch. Glancing down at my watch, I checked the time. I noticed that the hands had stopped moving. I really thought I was ahead of something this time around, but yet I was stuck in another time crisis. I was late believing I had more time than I thought. That is a motif of my life at times, believing I had more time than I thought I had. The old adage is, time flies when you're, when you're having fun. However, for me, time flies when I don't manage it wisely. There are roughly around, let's say, four, eight, let's say about 800,000 seconds in a day, which equals to mm, 1,440 minutes. And at times, I personally have mismanaged them by, falling, by failing to stay focused or not taking deadlines seriously. I have noticed, uh, I have no choice not in believing that I'm the only one who loses track of those seconds in the day. My teachers have encouraged me to be a better steward of my time and stop believing that I will always have it. <laughs> um, what are you doing day by day to make sure that you are doing everything in your power to be successful, to plan and also take care of your mental health? Time is just, time is not just only work, but to balance your being. That's very important, so I can keep those balance your being. Um, 
But it is important that we figure out those things, like Tim said, time is of the essence. If you think about a time, if you think about it, time is the only thing you only get once. In the words of my teacher, you will never be as young as you were when you first heard my voice. Next year, I will be a senior, and my time in high school will abruptly come to an end. As I pursue my degree in mass communications, I plan to manage my time by working hard, cherishing my friends, and getting into very, very little trouble. <laughs> um, making memories that will last me a lifetime. Um, you do not get a lifetime to solve the mystery of time. That's for all of us to solve individually. And um, right now, it looks like I'm out of time. Perfect, 